whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous land. Just four weeks after the towers fell, the United States invaded Afghanistan. 17 years later, American troops are still fighting and dying there. Earlier this month, a new American general took control of the effort. The ninth change of command in the longest war the United States has ever fought. To the Taliban, I say, you don't need to keep killing your fellow Afghans. It's time for this war in Afghanistan to end. But how the war might actually end is still anyone's guess. The Trump administration appears to be looking for a way to get out and pinning its hopes on encouraging peace talks between the two sides. In July, a high-level State Department official met with Taliban leaders at their headquarters in Doha to encourage them to come to the table, according to the militants. At the moment, though, the Taliban don't seem very interested in peace. Four weeks ago, fighters scored their biggest victory in years, overrunning the city of Ghazni, less than 100 miles from Kabul. So that road just below us is the main north-south highway. It leads down to areas in the south that are controlled by the Taliban. That's why capturing Ghazni for a few days and cutting off that road is such a strategic victory for the Taliban. Farid Mishal is the police chief of Ghazni. We traveled with him as he returned to the city for the first time since being promoted to general for leading the fight to defend it. During the height of the battle, Mashal took to Facebook, taunting the Taliban and posing for photos with bodies of their dead fighters in the streets. The videos may be good PR, but losing Ghazni was a stunning setback for the Afghan government. It was taken by just a thousand Taliban fighters who roamed the streets for days. Afghan forces had to call in U.S. air and ground support to take the city back. How intense was the fighting? Mashal lost at least a hundred of his men to the Taliban. Do you think you would have been able to push the Taliban out without these these international airstrikes supporting you? It took the Afghan troops six days to push the Taliban fighters out of the city. How far is the Taliban now? The post war will be. What can you do if there's a thousand Taliban fighters approaching the city? I mean, is that something that you, you're able to defend against? Before leaving, they terrorized the city, burning the main market to the ground. Residents think it's only a matter of time before they'll be back. 
شورو باور غزنی طالبواس غزنی دولت مصر فعلا قرار داره یعنی شورا امنیتش گرفته نمیتونه دولت بون تو تیاره خو به خاطر که او حضور داره اوجا جنگ میشه بین دو طرف در حالت در مردمای ملکی در موبایل کشتا میشه زخمی میشه میگه جنگ تو دامس دامدار است ثابت Even now, the Afghan government doesn't fully control the road between Ghazni and the capital, and traveling it requires a massive, heavily armed convoy. So we've just left Ghazni city, and outside the city itself, the control that the government forces have is pretty minimal. There's a lot of Taliban activity. There are a lot of fighters in the area. So we're in a 15-car convoy. These guys are feeling like they have enough vehicles to fend off an ambush, but It's definitely pretty tense. Attention, attention. Even in the capital itself, violence is on the right. This year is on track to be the deadliest for civilian casualties since fighting began in 2001. <laughs> The president himself was recently targeted by a mortar attack on his compound while he was making a speech live on television. They didn't hit the palace, did they? Uh, uh, two, uh, but... They landed uh, inside? Uh, yes. Uh, that must have been pretty scary. Days earlier, <laughs> President Ghani had offered the Taliban a ceasefire. They didn't accept. It's been more than a year now since President Trump announced his new strategy for Afghanistan. Um, do you think it's working? Yes. For the first time, the possibility of peace is really a tent. It's been 17 years of war now and hundreds of billions spent. Right. I mean, the security situation now is worse than it's ever been. Absolutely. In the Look, I'm not responsible for the first 14 years. Those who are responsible need to answer for that period. From the day I've been elected as president of Afghanistan. My goal has been a multidimensional process to make sure that we own our problems, we reduce our reliance, we become partners rather than dependents. What do you think the government actually has to offer the Taliban? If they don't like the conditions that you're offering, what, what, what's to stop them just waiting out the Americans? Uh, the issue is not waiting out the Americans. Can they wait out the Afghan people? And what's in it for the Taliban? for the Taliban legitimacy, participation, end of violence. But the Taliban refuses to talk to the Afghan government without first discussing a timeline for US forces to leave. And while American commanders aren't prepared for that yet, they seem to concede that negotiations are the end goal. I do think the overall strategy is, is working. I mean, clearly we're in a fight here. Almost all these conflicts will never be solved militarily. The military aspect of it has to apply pressure, has to get people to the table, and ultimately it's a political solution. It doesn't mean some kind of defeat, sitting down with the Taliban and making a... I don't think we look at it that way. That I don't way. look at it that way. I mean, that's, that's what the object of the strategy is. It's, it's to get to reconciliation. So reconciliation can only be done by talking. Um, so, you know, we've, we've got to get to that. I, I, I don't look at it that as a defeat at all. The Taliban see it differently. We sat down with a commander of a Taliban faction that fought in Ghazni. He had a clear message for Washington. Do you think that the US making peace with the Taliban means some kind of defeat for the Americans? The outgoing U.S. military commander here has said that President Trump's strategy in Afghanistan is working. What's your response? Is the Taliban ready to negotiate? 
امریکایانو سر خبر اوت تیاری. این دا خو معلوم خبر ده. غورا پدیا خو مگ امریکایانو تا یا نترام تا یا نور خارجیانو تا اسپا پاکستان کی کم پوزیان لری دیر تولو ملکوت دا خ خبر ده دام پیغام ده. شدیل پاکستان باید خبر پوزیانو باشی. نور دی نه نرایوالو تا زان شرمیده کی ندی دا پاکستان خرگو تا زان شرمیده کی. او ندی زان نور اتیپو پومردارو کیپسی لری.